Hello, I'm Dr. John Larson. Welcome to our main campus in Tom's River. From outstanding academic programs taught by dedicated faculty to fine arts performances that enrich our lives, OCC has become a national leader and is fast becoming the number one choice of students planning a college education. Last May, over 1,300 associate degrees were conferred on our students, including hundreds of New Jersey stars, honors program, and Phi Theta Kappa graduates, among the best and the brightest in the state. Our students are a testament that OCC is the choice for an outstanding education. In January 2009, with the economy in crisis, it was our responsibility to make college tuition affordable. We responded to our student financial needs, not by increasing tuition. OCC was the only college in New Jersey to offer a 0% tuition increase. Approximately 12,000 of our students receive financial aid with $21 million distributed. We are committed to our students' success. As we step up campus construction to accommodate growth and reflect an image of quality, we strive to build a solid foundation where our students can learn and grow. OCC has stepped up its efforts to be environmentally friendly, seeking economical ways to improve our stewardship. Our goal is to have all campus construction and renovation receive certification from the U.S. Green Building Council's Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. OCC is keeping it green with the opening of John C. Bartlett Jr. Hall, our new academic building, which reflects OCC's commitment to environmentally mindful, sustainable construction. Among our many renovation and expansion projects, a 15,000 square foot academic wing was added to the Arts and Community Center. It will also serve as home base for the highly acclaimed Garden State Philharmonic. And the new Gateway Building, slated to open in September 2012, will house Kane at Ocean Students, which allows completion of a Kane University bachelor's or master's degree right here on Ocean County College's main campus. In addition, many exciting things are happening in sports, including renovations to our athletic facilities. With new tennis courts and a state-of-the-art soccer stadium, OCC will once again raise the bar and host local, regional, and national tournaments. Speaking of sports, I'm very proud to say that OCC's women's cross-country team is the number one team in the nation after the Lady Vikings finished first in the Division III NJCAA National Championships. OCC's sailing team hoisted its sails and swept away the competition as part of the Middle Atlantic Intercollegiate Sailing Association. Our sailors successfully compete against four-year universities, including Princeton, Columbia, Cornell, Penn State, and many others and OCC was ranked in ninth place among all athletic programs in the nation. But our students aren't the only ones who shine. OCC's faculty, administration, and alumni are well known nationally for their research and writing. The science department was singled out by McGraw-Hill for excellence in online science education. English instructor Jayanti Tam published Cartwheels in a Sari, a memoir of growing up cult. And our alumni continue to shine as well. Kevin Donahue was an intern for the Embassy of Jordan. Eileen Delaval was featured in New Jersey Business Magazine. Tony De Palma published a novel, Under the Banyan Tree. And our Alumni Association hosted their annual harvest party for children and teens with cancer. It is my hope that our students feel inspired by these advancements, because indeed our students and our alumni inspire us. Discover a world of opportunity awaiting you in Tom's River. Welcome. Ocean County College.